Well, hi, it looks like we're live uh, on YouTube and on Facebook for all of you families and kids around the world. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm so happy. I am so happy you're here to draw. Isn't that funny? This was made by one of my art students who became one of my summer art camp teachers, Tommy Sims, and he made a little uh, clay me. <laughs> so instead of me missing my cameras up to put picture of me waving, I'll just have my little clay guy say, hi, welcome to, hey, I, I decided to change my whole format. Instead of doing 15, 20 minutes every day, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go an hour. And you don't have to stay the whole hour. You can if you want. We're going to do an hour of pencil power every day at noon. So let's get right into it. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take all these, uh, my favorite lessons from, from times past, from my webcast past. I've done over 1,800 webcasts. I was going through and trying to tally them all up over the years. Oh, my goodness. I, uh, it's just uh, amazing. So we're going to do the portal of imagination. We're going to draw the flying bird and we're going to draw ninja, ninja eggs. And then maybe another one, but we're going to go for a whole hour. You can draw one with me. You can draw, excuse me. You could draw two. You can draw the whole, the whole lesson. So let's jump right into it. I'm so glad you guys are joining me. I'm getting all kinds of wonderful comments and, uh, I, I turned off the comments on YouTube. I just don't have any any control over the appropriateness of the comments. So parents, thank you for understanding. I just ha I just was was uh, I just didn't want to have to to worry about that for all you uh, families. So uh, I do have control over the comments on Facebook. So please do uh, if you want to make. Oh, we got Alaska here. If you want to make comments, yeah, do on Facebook, or you can always email me, all right? But I'll tell you that later. Let's jump right in. I'm going to put a dot in the very middle of my paper here. So there's a dot. I'm going to have to show you. This is for this is the center on Facebook, and then this is the center on YouTube. Put a dot, and I guess I could do this. Let me try to do this so I can get, get this more. I, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try to move my camera up. All right, so this is interesting. Okay, guys, thank you for being patient with me. I'm so glad. You know, yesterday I was I was so happy that to see how many people participated. And during the live, we had we had we must have had oh I don't know 50 on Facebook and 100 on YouTube. But then we had over 1,700 families uh, from multiple countries. I'm doing four squares. You see, we're going to do four drawings or three or four, <coughs> and. I'm just so grateful that you guys are drawing with me, giving me a distraction too, a joyful distraction. We all need that, right? We all need that. So we'll, 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 we'll draw together. We can help each other be, uh, be creative. All right, so now let's start in score number one. We're going to start with the, uh, where's my little, there's, start with this guy right here. I love this guy. I call this the portal of imagination. Isn't that fun? We're going to draw that one right there. We're going to draw the circle in square number one. So let me move this up. Let's zoom this camera in. Now look at how light I did these the circles here. I'm going to draw uh, the square. See that? That's the hardest thing for me to teach you kids and is to draw light. Now the hardest thing for me to teach, the most difficult thing for me to teach your parents is to literally draw anything. I'm going to probably say that every day because it's true. If you can get your parents, I'm going to put a thickness. It's a little portal on the side of a spaceship, a portal on the side of a submarine, a portal on the side of an airplane, whatever you you guys uh, can imagine. So let's go ahead and darken that in. We're going to draw this circle. Then now the fun part is we're going to take this and make that. This is this is kind of like drawing, like your paper. Your paper is your window to your imagination. Someone type in that. Would someone type that in Facebook? Your paper is your window to your imagination. Someone type that in there. That's such a good, such a good idea. I, I picked that up from one of my many amazing teachers through my uh, college years. <clears throat> now, watch this. I'm going to, up here, I'm going to draw the top. Now, watch this. And I just I heard today that some other artists have started doing their live webcast for their drawing and watercolor and painting. I'm so pleased. Good for you guys. 
let's uh, let's all of us who have some creative uh, gift uh, share it with the families around the world. <clears throat> I'm going to put thickness here. Go ahead, yeah. Do a live webcast. It's so easy. Pick up your phone and push a button and then paint, or do clay sculpture, or build with Legos, or tell stories. Like my good friend, she has this wonderful uh, um, uh, uh, Amanda, uh, Amelia, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Amelia, she has a wonderful webcast. She's telling stories for you guys, and I'll, I'll post that. I'll post it uh, there, uh, Amelia and Joshua uh, Templeton, Amelia Templeton and, and Joshua, he does the filming with their kids, and they, they are just dear, dear friends, and they... And she's, so I'm putting a thickness here. She's telling these, she's an actress. Amazing stories. So I have to, re, someone remind me of that because I forget, I to say things on the, on the webcast, I forget, right? So someone send me a note, send me an email, remind me, okay? So here's my email address, just so you guys have it. Just so you know. And if you want to remind me, to, uh, uh, her name is, uh, um, uh, Amelia Templeton, and she's telling awesome stories. She's, she's acting them out, sitting in a chair. Uh, here's my email if you want to remind me right there. Also, it was so cool. I'm going to post in my uh, newsletter coming up here this afternoon. We had a handful of, of kids sit, post on Facebook your drawings. This is overlapping. Look. So if you feel like posting your drawings... I'm going to put them in my newsletter. I'm going to put as many as I can on there. It was so cool to see so many people, so many of you kids' drawings. Your parents are so proud of your drawings. It was so cool. Your parents are, I just have to use this. I have to say, wow. Okay, ready? This, is, this was my reaction when I opened up my comments from Facebook. Whoa. Wow. I was. I'll do it one more time. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's amazing. You guys, you guys are just, you're so cool. Your drawings of the Unibear cracked me up. I showed Mario and Selena. We just, we laughed and smiled. It was just, it was joyful. Now here, so you send that, send your drawings and we'll put them on our e-blast. Just put, uh, the best thing is instead of email, post them onto Facebook, okay? Now, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, put comments on YouTube. We'd love to see them. Now, these are the little guys here. This is what we're drawing. We're drawing this. This was inspired by um, the Toy Story, right? The, the claw, the claw. Remember that, you guys? Remember the claw, the claw? Well, I had a lot of my students. I taught a lot of the, the artists who animated Toy Story and Despicable Me and the movie Frozen and, and um, oh, all those great animated films. A lot of those those directors and animators were my students back in the 1980s and 90s. And the artist who did that Despicable Me scene, or not Despicable Me, that they they wrote me emails too. It was wonderful with the um, little minions. But these little guys from The Claw, the uh, the artist who created The Claw, they were so cool. He sent me an email saying that, uh, well, she, she sent me an email saying that, um, that she loved growing up with my drawings and that inspired her. So you kids, look at that. She was like you. You kids are young drawing, and she was young drawing. She loved to draw, and she made a career out of it. Isn't that cool? The fellow who directed Madagascar and the fellow who directed uh, um, Kung Fu Panda, he was one of my, my students, um, one of my viewers. So it's just wonderful to, to know that. Okay, let's put, let's put a bunch more. Look at This is overlapping. Someone type in the word overlapping. I'm going to check the text box, and I want to see... I want to see here. Where is our text box? Hi, Terry. Good to see you. Terry, you're now my my watch, my numbers watch. Will you tell me how many how many people are viewing? I just get a kick out of seeing how many families are watching. And hi, Kat and Laura and Charlotte, New Mexico. Hello, Indiana. And hello, uh, Megan and Amanda and Jessica from Wisconsin. We're seeing Wisconsin. I used to live there. That's wonderful. Hi from Michigan, and uh, we have uh, and hello to all the folks in the Ukraine and Japan and Italy who are watching this recording. I got wonderful emails from you families. I'm so glad that you guys are drawing with me together. Together we're gonna be creative. Together we're gonna 
We're going to draw and celebrate our creativity. All right. Now, we have our, these are overlap and overlap. This is a great way to draw a flower, by the way. You kind of see if you were drawing a flower. Look, at if you were drawing a flower like this, look at, you do a row, right? This is just a little side note. You would do a row and then look at, you do another row, right? It's a carnation, right? Isn't that fun? And then you shade it. That's, that's a, we'll do that later on. But let's get on to this. Get back to our little um, guys here. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to darken in the uh, the background. This is called the value. Someone type in the word value. Someone type in the word value. I want to see value. All right. Now, value in the background will help punch out your foreground. These guys are closer than the background. So this darkness makes it look deep, right, and hollow. So value, we're using value. Now, Value and, and shading are two different things. They're, they're both different values, but value is is the um, the the tone, right? The the kind of the um, the the flavor of the background. Now watch this. I'm going to draw some details. I love details. Someone type in details. Someone type in details. 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 Someone type in details in Facebook. We want to see that. And uh, I got a note saying author Mo Williams is doing a lunchtime uh, doodle. That's wonderful. Amanda Furman, Shelly Lewis, thank you. Uh, and hey, there's Commander. Whenever someone says that, I got to pull this out. I know it's a distraction from our drawing, but someone said Commander. They remember me from, look at that, when I was so young. That was for my TV series back in 1985. And then some of you remember me from Imagination Station from 1996, where we won the Emmy. Ooh. Someone type in, ooh. That's wonderful. Overlapping. Look at this. I love these comments. This is wonderful. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's put the eyes. Now, this is larger, and it gets smaller as it moves away. This is larger and it gets smaller. That's the word size. Now remember, there's 12 words of drawing. Okay, there's 12 words. You can get a print out of this on my website, okay? On draw3d.com. Okay, <clears throat> don't, you don't have to sign up to get the printout. Just go to the Draw3D, click free printables. And the free printables will give you this chart here. And it's also gonna give you a chart of the drawing compass. These are really helpful. We're, we're, I don't know. We might even use this drawing compass today. I'm not sure. Now, uh, take your pencil. Let's put the dots. I'm going to have this guy. Let's make him look in different directions. Let's use a little variation. A little variation, okay? Let's make him look in different directions. And I'm going to move my camera around. So I'm going I'm to get this. I'm going to get this so it's... Uh, it's second nature to me. I'm, I'm moving around two different cameras here to make sure I get him in. All right, look at me. I'm going to have this guy. He's looking over this way, and this guy's looking down. This guy's looking up. Isn't that fun? Now, for the shading, for all my drawings, I, I am the school of thought of having my light coming from the top right. Now, if you, when you go anywhere, you look in your books, you look in your school book illustrations, you look in comic books, you look in uh, your, your books that your parents read, read with you at night. Look at the drawings. Most of the time, people put, artists put the sun over here. I don't know why, but for, <coughs> I'm 57 years old, <coughs> excuse me, 57 years old, and so I've been drawing every day, what, since I was uh, six or seven years old. And for so for fi over 50 years, I've been stuck in a time warp. My son has been right there. I've been stuck. It's been 2 p.m. in the afternoon for me for 50 years in my drawings. Isn't that funny? And sometime during these webcasts, during this hour of pencil power, during our hour of pencil power, um, here, I'm going to shade it dark. See, it's dark up here. I'm going to scribble shade a little bit, scribble, scribble, and it gets lighter. Now, you have to be careful. Now, watch. This value can get muddy, can get confusing with this value. You got to be careful. I want to make sure that this value is very evidently different than this value. Now, if you use color, which is wonderful, I, I don't use color. I just am a big fan of pencils, graphite. But some of you want to use color. Some of you parents are great colorists and you want to talk, teach your kids about color. Um, color will help identify the objects, but I'm going to use value. I'm going to use a lighter value to separate this from that. Does that make sense? 
Someone type in the word, oh yeah. Someone type that in Facebook. Say, oh yeah. And then I want to say hi to Thomas and Sandra in San Antonio and Neil in Oklahoma. Thank you, Amanda, for putting the free printable link up there. Uh, Terry, thank you. I have 120 families on Facebook watching. That's wonderful. And I have 109 on YouTube. Thank you, all of you families. And all of you folks who are watching the rewebcast, it it uh, it warms my heart. We're drawing together. I'm getting more out of this than you are, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I appreciate your guys drawing, joining me. It gives me gives me uh something really fun to look forward to every day with with uh, me and my kids okay so thank you thank you the shade 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 that's right all right now look what i did here this is dark down here it's getting lighter as it comes up see it's dark up here now let's use our handy stop now these are the tools i use i use a blending stump i use i use a number nine i mean i'm sorry i use a point point nine if you can see it there, 0.9 Pentel PS209. That's what I use. I love it. It's an HB lead. Any pencil will do. Any, any, any pencil at all will do. You can use a golf pencil. You can use a teeny tiny pencil. I use a click eraser. Any eraser will do. There's a thousand different kinds of erasers. And then I use a, a brush. And I also recommend that you guys keep all your journal this experience. Every day, write, write your poems and your stories in your journal. Get a sketchbook. And do your noon drawing, your noon hour of pencil power with me in your sketchbook, okay? So get those four things, five things. You can uh, order, them, order them from uh, your favorite online retailer, and they'll bring them right to your door and drop by your doorstep. All right, so now I'm going to use my Stompy, and I'm going to blend it here. I'm going to get lighter and lighter. I'm going to blend it up here. I'm going to get it lighter and lighter. Now watch what I'm gonna do for these little guys inside. Look at this, I'm gonna take my, my blending stump and I'm gonna get it lighter and lighter on the inside. Isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> Isn't that awesome? I love this, I love this. Now I'm gonna do something kind of interesting. I'm gonna zoom this in. Watch what I'm gonna do. In, in the middle here, I'm gonna put a little extra darkness, these little nuances. Can, someone's, can, can, someone, can someone type in the word nuance? I love your comments, you guys. I just, I, I want to comment, to comment on your comments, but I really, I'm going to stay more focused on the drawing so I keep you kids engaged. You don't want to sit here and hear me chat with the viewers, but I want you to know I'm reading them all. I just, I'm not going to take the time to comment back. Um, but thank you. Any comment is wonderful. I love it. Any positive comment is wonderful. Let me clarify that. I had to turn the comments off of YouTube just out of... Uh, um, a little bit of concern. I want to make sure that it's all Turbo G rated. Turbo G rated. Sorry, YouTube viewers, but I love that you're watching and you can always comment. You can write your comment in the comment box uh, and it'll show up. Okay. Nuance. Stacy, thank you for, I couldn't spell nuance. That's a good, <laughs> and Jeff, that's how I would spell it, Jeff. You and I, we, we spell from our gut. That's right. Now, all right, well, there is your portal of imagination. All right, I'm going to put the portal of imagination. What Now, what kind of story can you write about this, you guys? What kind of story? Look at that. You can have, you know, where were the where were these little guys? What's the name of them? They're not minions. Maybe they're, uh, they're, they're blobitians. The, uh, uh, maybe they're, they're on a, uh, on a submarine in the ocean and they're, they're searching for the great lasagna. That's protected by the jellyfish school of jellyfish we drew a few days ago. The portal of, I don't know why I put S there. Uh, the portal of imagination, the window of imagination. All right, I can't wait to see your story. That's your, that's your, uh, your challenge. One of your challenges tonight is to write a story. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put right here, right your story that'll be your challenge after you, since we have time at home now with our families go sit at the kitchen table with with and you can you know watch your uh, brothers and sisters and your cousins and your mom and your dad and your grandma and grandpa and your aunt and uncle hustle around the house take, doing things and you could write your story and you could draw more pictures how's that sound isn't that a wonderful way to spend a day 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's go to square number two. And in this drawing, I want to draw the ninja egg. No, 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 no. I'm going to put the bird up here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a flying bird, right? That's the one we're going to draw. I love that little flying bird guy. Let me show the Facebook guys. All right, wonderful. Good to see you guys. Now, and, uh, oh, someone just said they shared the, the feed with, um, with their groups. Thank you for sharing our webcast with other people. Oh, they're in a cookie jar. That's a great idea. They're cotton ball aliens. That's another great idea. And meeps. Heather's, Heather's saying meeps. That's cool. Thank, hello, Heather Shipman. How are you? Heather and Amanda are the dynamic sisters. I want to just tell you guys right now, can everybody write thank you to Heather and Amanda? They are my my team, my, uh, my backup, my inspiration. These guys, these sisters and their families are what help me keep doing what I'm doing. I couldn't do it without Heather and Amanda. Thank you, you two sisters. Uh, I am so grateful. And also all of your 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 time today on the phone helping me get uh, get organized uh, for the drawing today. I love you guys. All right. Hi, Elizabeth. All right, let's go on to the next drawing. We're going to draw the bird. Enough of this talky-talky stuff. Let's draw. All right, so the bird, I'm going to start the bird. Now, I want to have room for his wing up here, so I'm going to, I'm going to draw the bird. I'm going to kind of draw an action line. Action line. I'll draw, see, my, my hands are kind of shaky, kind of wiggly, so I don't, don't worry about it being perfect. Look, mine's all wobbly. Don't worry about it, especially you parents. You parents, don't be nervous about it. It's, you, it's just you're having fun. You're just sketching. You're just drawing. And I'm going to draw the bird's belly, and then I'm going to come back. It's going to be flying. Now look at this, the bird's tail, the bird's tail is gonna swoop down like this and then swoop under. Look, I just put a big, I don't know if you can see this. Let me just pan this out and I'm gonna hold up my camera. See what I did? See, I made that, I'm, I'm holding up the, the YouTube camera. Now I'll show you on the, on the Facebook camera. You see what I did? I made a little a curl at the bottom. We're just blocking this in. We're, we're blocking, we're shaping, we're blocking. Someone type in the word shaping. Someone type in the word blocking, blocking, blocking. We're blocking it in. All right, now, so over here on the side, I'm gonna draw the bird's beak. Okay, I'm gonna put a little hook at the end, little S-curve. S-curve is a wonderful word, a wonderful idea. You see this S-curve in nature all the time. You see it on a blade of grass, on a, a horse's mane, you see it on a, 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 a ladybug's wing, S-curves. You see it everywhere. You see it on a, a praying mantis's antenna. You see the S-curve everywhere in nature. So there's our beak. Now, this is called contour. See this line? Someone type in the word contour. It's one of these. <coughs> it's one of these. Now, the bird looks like this. Now, what, what's interesting... The, the, here again, here's contour. Now I just looked up, I saw a comment. Thank you for typing and blocking and blocking and shaping everybody. Someone typed in a, a, a comment saying this bird looks like what's on their video games. Well, it most likely does because a lot of the uh, video game animators and artists and animators, you, you might recognize these from the movie Rio. You might recognize these from the Pixar series, Birds on a Wire. Well, I am so delighted that a lot of those key artists and animators and character designers, they were my students. They were my viewers on public television back in the 1980s and 90s and odd years. And I just, I get tickled pink. I get tickled, tickled, tickled. I, I've never really been tickled pink, but I get, I get uh, joyful and delighted when I get emails from these past animators. You might see some comments from some of the... Uh, my past students there, you kids, you'll see that. See, a lot, some of your ki you kids' parents, I taught you guys how to draw when you were young, and it's fun that now here it is, the, the circle goes around, right? I'm going to draw the draw the bird's hair. The bird's hair is going to be kind of, uh, I'm going to have, I love S-curve. See, I love that fancy little S-curve. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I love S-curve. So I'm going to draw um, like a feathers. I want, I want more of the feathers to coming up here. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw some feathers here. A little different than I had before, but I'm gonna try it and see, see if I can get a nice pattern of feathers going down here. And I want to have some of them, some of them pull out to be 
See, I, I did a variation. I did a few just out here by themselves and a group of them. This is called grouping. I group some here and some here, and then I have like the, the lone hair here coming down. Now, I really don't like this hair. It looks like a thorn, so that's all right. No problem. Let's just erase that. See, do you like it better? I do. So if it looks, if it doesn't look perfect to you, if it doesn't look right, <clears throat> you feel you can fix it. You can change it all you want, all right? Well, thanks, guys. Um, this is wonderful. All you 115 people on, on YouTube, I hope you're drawing perfect. And uh, I'm not sure how many we have on uh, Facebook right now. Uh, Terry, can you let me know? And I want to tell you guys that if, you, if I go too fast for you, don't worry. Don't stress, okay? I have a little, I have a little paper sign for this, for exactly what I'm going to say. Ready? Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you that... <laughs> Drawing is fun, it's motivating, inspiring, and don't stress. You see that little bus right there? That's the stress bus. Don't stress. Stress is on the bus. Beep, beep. Stress, say bye. Someone say beep, beep. Someone type in beep, beep. No stress. Just have fun. Erase if you have to and change it, but don't roll up your paper and say, oh, I can't do it. And ah, don't, don't freak out. Don't go, ah, he's going too fast. Ah. Don't don't go, well, mom! <laughs> don't do that. Just just chill, relax, have some fun, take your time. It's a process, my dear geniuses. It's a process, my dear dear geniuses. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the nostril. Now look at you can watch the re reposting of these. You don't have to worry. You can watch the reposting. You can watch it again and again and again. I'm gonna leave them up there. All right now. I'm going to draw the wing. Now, I, gotta, I don't want to overlap here. I'm going to draw the wing coming up. And then watch this. I'm going to, well, I'm probably going to overlap a bit because the wings, the feathers go like there. Can you guys see it? Like, I think I got to move my camera here just a bit and focus it and focus this. And then, now, I hope you notice. Have you guys noticed? Amanda and Heather, have you noticed the quality on Facebook and YouTube? Uh, beep, beep is a bus. Yeah, this is a bus. Stress is on the bus. You see? Stress is on the bus. Someone say stress bus. Bye-bye, stress bus. See that? Stress. This this is a logo I created for... I was drawing every night at 6 p.m. for uh, 2020, my dream quest. I, the idea was to draw 20 minutes live webcast every day, 20 minutes of swimming every day, and 20% was our, our key to success. If we missed a day or two, we didn't give up. We gave ourselves 20% grace and humor. No stress. Beep, beep. Stress is on the bus. Um, but I have... Uh, I have change this. I've adapted this into our hour pencil power noon every day. Okay, so all of you viewers of the 2020, thank you for if I put I sorry about that for you on YouTube. I put do not disturb on my phone and still I got a call from a spam. Can you believe that? All right, here we go. I'm going to put I'm going to put some of these here. Some of the feathers, some of the feathers. I'm going to start bigger down here. Let's clean up a little bit. Clean up. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. You guys doing all well? Uh, okay. Well, thank you, Nichelle. Fantastic sound and clarity. Wonderful. And Nigel and Rio, wonderful. And that's one. Terry, thank you. I, I, I wanted to see. Uh, Terry, good job. Thank you. Um, thanks for giving, telling me. So we have about 100... 100 on, on each one, 121 families on YouTube. I'm so pleased, that's wonderful. That's great, how fun, it, this, is, this is a creative time that we can spend together. All right, that's right. All right, let's put this clean up, clean up, clean up. I'm gonna do another row. I just love these rows of feathers, a little smaller. You see that, smaller, smaller, and my thought was if you get you guys well you families you moms and dads and kids will notice i start talking about five different things at the same time and i'm trying really hard to finish a thought <laughs> okay it's a monumentally difficult for me all the people at night who are watching my 2020 i'm now doing it at noon so thank you for joining me the most of them were older folks like me most of them were uh, uh seniors um so they're the they're the the ones that are young at Heart, young at art. All right, now, back down here, I'm going to put the other wing coming through. See, watch this. You can see the guideline. I can see the other. It's smaller. Here's that word size. 
one of the 12 Renaissance words. You can see this size right here. Near things are larger. And this wing gets smaller as it moves away. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there, see, it's it's going out. It's further away from us. Now I'm gonna draw the thumb and the feathers become the fingers. Watch this. Remember Chicken Little? I, I taught those guys who did Chicken Little how to draw it too. And I love the way they did the claymation. They made the bird's feathers as their fingers. Okay, so up here, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw the little, uh, like the, the underwing here in a little shadow. There's that value again, shadow. Dark underneath here, it gets lighter and lighter. A little shadow, wait till, wait till you see the detail we're about to add. And um, thank you for all your positive comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, right here, curve this line here. And now watch this, I'm gonna draw the little, now here's contour, so watch this. Draw the feathers, and then let's draw the little, draw the little toes here, see that? I'm gonna draw the feathers, lots of feathers. This was a an overlapping contour line because I wanted one, see what I did with this? I'm gonna make, see how I just drew those toes there? I made this this group of toes closer to you, and I wanted to make the this a little more apparent. See how these are smaller toes back here? These are closer, that's that word size. <laughs> And then let's put another row of uh, feathers. They get smaller. And then another row of feathers. They get smaller. Then up here on top, let's draw that top edge. I love that underwing and darkness here. Get lighter as you come down. That's a value, right? Darker up here. Get lighter as you come down. Darkness up here. Sun's up here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put a little. Now, again, we don't want this to get muddy, this value between the uh, wing and the body. We want to make it get lighter and lighter. See, take your pen. I'm going to use like a scribble technique, but you can also shade with more feathers. You can use the texture to shade. See, I put feathers on the belly, right? And then you could, this is a good opportunity right here to take your, your stompy and blend it. Take your stompy and blend it and take your stompy and blend it. Okay, this is awesome. I'm loving it. I'm loving this. You guys cool? You guys good? Oh, this is wonderful. Now, now watch this. I'm going to draw this, the long feathers, the tail feathers, S curving down. Now, ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I got an idea. I got an idea. So I'm going to have to move this up to be in the camera for, for uh, my YouTube audience. I got a smaller area to work with. But watch this. I'm going to draw this, this one feather. Look at, see how I'm gonna make a ribbon coming down here? And then I'm gonna put another thickness here. See this, how it's s curved down? We did this a few days ago, so we're just kind of, uh, uh, we're repurposing what we learned yesterday. We're, we're recycling, reducing, we're reusing. We're reusing techniques and ideas from another drawing and put them in here. That's something really cool for you guys to remember that everything that you draw yeah, I'm going to put this up here. Everything you draw, you can recycle, repurpose into other drawings. You can reuse your these things you learn into different drawings. You can put this on a horse. You can put this on a, a flying pig. You can put this on a, uh, your, if you're drawing your friend Sally, you can, this could be her hair on the side of her head. Okay. I'm going to put more, more of these little bird feathers wrinkling here. And then uh, I think I'm gonna have one curling up right here. I'm gonna have a feather kind of curling up right here. And isn't that fun? Okay, then I'll put a few feathers kind of sticking out. Now, now we got a, the fun part. Now we put some shading down here. And I put feathers, feathers. Feathers, feathers coming down. And again, that looks like a thorn, so I'm going to erase that. And uh, more feathers come, look at, like, get, make it kind of little feathers. And dark under here, that shadow. Dark under here and get light as you come down. I like how we, we used uh, two sides, the whole side of your paper. Okay. Now, before we forget, let's put... Uh, Let's put our hour of pencil power. 
Let's do that right here. Let's make a little, let's make a little clock right here. Okay, let's draw a little clock. And then uh, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's one of those fancy, like a grandfather clock. We're just recycling that picture again here, right? And it's sitting here, it's sitting on this big pedestal. You know, isn't that cool? A big giant pedestal here. And then this, this pedestal is sitting in the grass. So I'm gonna put grass at the bottom. And what I was gonna do, is I wanna draw like a little, little clock hand here, right? So we have 12, and we have three, and we have six, and we have nine, right? And so, and we did it every day at noon. So we're at, oh, the big hand now, look at this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the, what time it is right now. Okay, so oops, I almost knocked my camera over. So erase, erase, erase. I wanna put, we're about, so this small hand is aiming toward the one, and the big hand is aiming a little bit, right about right there, toward the eight. And this is 12 up here, right? One, two, three. And now we'll shade opposite, we'll shade the side. Now the whole point, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna make a little, little logo saying the hour of pencil power. Hour of pencil power. You know what, let's draw a pencil. Oh, this will be fun. This drawing is good. We're going crazy, guys. Look, I'm gonna have this pencil and it's, a, it's like, it's like um, tilting up on the ground here. The hour of pencil power. The hour of pencil, P-O-W-E-R. The hour of pencil power. Woo, what do you guys, someone type that in. Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you love it? I want, the, I want this to be your creative hour of pencil power. I want this to be a fun hour for you every day. Every day together. Woohoo! Hour oh, day. Look at this. Everybody's staying with me. Well, thank you. Well, hi, Cheryl Ann. How you doing? Kara Shady. Reuse, recycle, repurpose. That's right. Let's shade down here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. How many do we still have on Facebook? Are you guys staying with me? Usually in my 2020, I start with, with uh, several, then, then I start rambling, and people go, oh, he's in the, one of his rambling stages, and they log on. So how many do we still have on? I just it's 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 fun. It makes it a little kind of kind of like a little um, digital game for me, right? A little a little video game to see how many people I can actually draw with for the whole hour. How many people are actually going to stay with me for a whole hour? That's gonna that will be interesting. I've never done these, these, uh, these for this long as far as on Facebook or YouTube, usually like 20 minutes. We have over 105 on Facebook still. That's amazing. You guys are, you win the award. You win the prize. I should have my Emmy up here. I hear, here, how about this? You guys, you guys win a happy hug from my little minion guy. Love you guys. Look, I got all kinds of cool. I got my minion and I have my own ninja banana. I like my ninja banana. Look at I surround myself with all my toys. Look at this. I have my own duck. I love ducks. And you know who signed my duck? If you guys remember the Secret City, this is from Zebtron. Zebtron, Joel Gorey. Zebtron from the Secret City. I don't know if you remember remember him. Uh, if, if you guys watch the Secret City, you certainly will. He was my co-star in the 1985 series. Joel Gorey. Hello, Joel. Shout out to Joel. You know what? Let's get Joel Gorey as a guest artist. <coughs> oh, well, thank you, Amanda. <coughs> Amazing. Thank you for saying that about my, my drawing. And we still have 18 minutes left for the hour. Isn't that cool? So put the shadows underneath here. Put the shadows underneath. See, I'm putting little shadows under here. Putting little shadows. <coughs> shadow, shadow, shadow. The Hour of Pencil Power. Feel free to share this link with all of your friends and all of you folks over in Italy. Share it with all of your neighbors and friends and you guys in the Ukraine and England and Germany and, and China. Thank you for your emails. Uh, Japan, thank you for your emails. If, again, if you guys want to send me notes or anything, here's my information. Mark at markkistler.com. Thank you. And... Um, uh, shade it up here. 
Now, if now I'm going to qualify this, you you parents that are listening, I'm going to qualify this statement with a very 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 um, uh, sincere. Only if you are in the position. Only if this is this is always awkward for me, but uh, only if you're in the position. If you want to go to my GoFundMe page to help support me and Heather and Amanda and our entire team to keep. Uh, to keep on keeping on um, on only if you're in a position to to do it uh, go to GoFundMe type in uh, Mark Kistler's Kids Special <coughs> Mark Kistler's Kids Special it's uh, uh, I'll write it right here that's the title of it it I just started it uh, kind of uh, kind of tells uh, our store we're just like all of you guys we're gonna work our way through this together Thank you for your consideration. Only if you are in Mark Kistler's um, a Kids Special. I think that's what I wrote it. I, uh, Amanda, do you want to check it out on uh, GoFundMe? I can't. I, I'm. I, I hope I got it right. I can't. Uh, I wrote it. I was yesterday. I was telling in the store. I telling about how yesterday you guys made me cry. I, that's why I'm not paying too much attention to the comments right now. I'm trying to draw more because I spent yesterday just tearing up and crying <laughs> thank you you're so nice uh, i'm such a baby anything to do with my kids or uh kittens little kittens or anything from you guys sending me notes makes me get makes me cry i appreciate i appreciate your love and i appreciate your support uh uh okay I'm gonna close that. Thank you, Cheryl, for your for your message. I got it. I'll I'll respond later. Good to see you. Yeah, you know, let's put these little. Let's look at. It. I'm gonna value this. I, I have. I want to get to the last drawing. I want to get to the last drawing. Thank you. Hour of pencil power. Let's shade underneath here. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys keeping up? Give me a one through five. Five being fantastic. One and one being. Help! No! Help! He's going too fast. Now remember, if I go too fast, don't you fret. You can watch the reposting. Now, okay, that's fun. Our hour of pencil. Now, let's make this ticking. Tick, 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 it's shaking, right? It's our little hour. It's our hour of pencil power of post. That's it. You know how you post blogs? Well, we post drawings. <gasps> Ooh, we're posting. Okay, we'll say our drawing post. Isn't that funny? I crack myself up. Our drawing post right here we're playing on words you see our drawing post to get it like we you post on facebook or youtube well now we post right there there's our post our drawing post okay i crack myself up our drawing post all right let's move to the last square last available space and i want to draw some ninja eggs this is one of my favorites one of my favorite drawing lessons this is from my um one of my lessons on amazon prime if you guys want to watch more got a lot of my lessons for for members on Amazon Prime, it's free for you guys. And uh, <clears throat> um, take this. Oh, look, I'm getting lots of fives from you guys that you're you're with me. Five being great. Five being great. All right, love it. I love kittens. Good job. Well, hey, Keenan, he says he feels like recorded this on uh, VCR. Don't you worry. I'm going to keep it posted to Facebook. It's still there, and it's also on YouTube. It'll be, uh, yeah, dad joke, totally. That was a dad joke. Don't worry about recording it on VCR. You can you can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on Facebook. No problem. Last square. Here we go. Last square. Ninja eggs. Thank you, Tiffany, for keeping me keeping me. Uh, notice how I start rambling. I need you guys to remind me to get back to my drawing. Bird, the squirrel. That's me growing up. Squirrel. Now this ninja egg. Let's take a look at what we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw these ninja guys right here, okay? It's really cool. So this is uh, this is our uh, first egg. Now this is the guy in front. Now over here, I'm gonna draw this another egg, a little higher. This is lower, and they'll come a little higher. See, this is closer, and this will be further away. See this? And then this egg will be further away too, all right? Now, if you were gonna be able to see through it, you would see that this egg, this egg is a little higher too. See, you can. I'm not gonna, Leave it like that. I'm just kind of showing you that that's a little higher. So I'll use my eraser and let's erase that a bit. And then this guy over here, let's draw this. 
kind of make him kind of slant it out. Kind of, kind of an egg shape here, see that? Kind of an egg shape there. And then, down here, look at, let's put a, the four shorten, let's draw the, the mask. Now, that's a four shortened circle. That's a four short shortened curve. All right. And then, now let's look again at our, at my reference. See, that's what we're going to draw, these three ninja eggs, okay? Now, think of the story about that. Think of the stories you could write about that. <coughs> now. This one, I'm going to have curve away from you. So the power of the curving, the power of the contour line, watch. Uh, I'm making that curve a little too much. I'm going to come around here, okay, and then come up here. And then this one curves this way. Isn't that fun? All right, so we have our contour lines. Those are called contours. Someone type in the word contour lines, almost like the penguins. You're right, nice quote there, Nichelle. I'm gonna have this, this, uh, I'm gonna have this, this ninja egg looking right at you. Look at, he's looking into your soul. He's looking into your soul. And then this guy up here, I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna use size, this, this size larger and this side gets smaller as it moves away and he's looking around here. And then, um, this reminds me of a couple things I have to, announcements here, okay? As I finish our last drawing, you can take a screenshot of that, there's my, uh, draw 3d my amazon prime youtube <coughs> my uh, instagram please follow me on instagram i'll try to post these all right now again for all of you members of my draw 3d family membership my uh, turbo tuesdays on tuesdays at two o'clock these are usually in our private web uh, private virtual classroom called jigsaw we're gonna i'm gonna change this over to um it, it's just gonna be um on Facebook and YouTube today, so you can come by. These are, these are gonna be live. I'm gonna open these uh, Turbo Tuesdays live webcasts, and we're just gonna make them at noon. We're gonna merge all this together so it's a free webcast. So all of you uh, folks on Draw 3D membership, and anybody who who uh, wants to join up, thanks so much for your, for your business, okay? I appreciate it. There's uh, 500 lessons on there, and that you should enjoy it commercial free. Uh, what other thing? Oh, all of you students at my fine arts summer camps over the summer, um, don't you fret, parents. Don't you fret. I'm going to make them every class, every week, every session will be also simultaneously a webcast on Jigsaw platform, and you can get information. Call. Sorry about that, guys. I got a, another call. I put, I put don't disturb. Anyways, if you guys around the world want to sign up for that, you can. I'm a... Uh, um, there's more information coming on the website. Check it out, and I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. But anywhere in the world, you guys, if you want to take the summer camp, you can. I'm going to try to make it uh, more affordable. I just have to go through and, and work it out. Uh, for what There'll be a, um, a, a, less, a, 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 a huge discount for online for all you guys around the world, okay? Um, oh, and all my, uh, my uh, school assemblies... I hope you guys are watching. We had them all cancel over the next two months for my school programs around the United States. I hope you guys are on here watching with us, and we'll get, I'll get back to your schools, okay? I will get back to schools, I promise. Of course, watch me on Amazon Prime. All right, well, let's finish this up here. Let's finish this up. And curve it around here. Hey, Amanda. If you're out there, or Terry, Terry, why don't you say, you can prompt me. Terry and Amanda, you guys will be my prompts. Hey, I hear you have a best-selling book out. Oh, well, thank you for, thank you for asking about that. Thank you. I've always dreamed, you kids, dreams come true. With hard work and imagination, dreams do come true. I, I have always dreamed of having a bestseller, always, and I've written 17 books. It took me 17 books, but I finally got a bestseller. Look at that. Uh, you can draw in 30 days. I'm so happy about that. That's on Amazon. And there's we actually made the top 10 how to draw books from Amazon.com. Uh, okay, we're number two, right? I never thought I'd be going, I'm number two. I'm number two. 
We're number two. <laughs> but I'm, hey, I'm in great company. The number one book is incredible. I ordered it. It's fantastic. The number two, number three, number four books are all fantastic. I have eight of the ten, mine being one of them. I'm still going to get the other two. They're, uh, they're fantastic books. So check that out. Check that video out. You can see that link on uh, Amazon. So thank you guys for getting my books and supporting me and my team. <clears throat> Again, here's the... Uh, there's my ever so subtle, if you're in a position to to go to GoFundMe and read my story, go for it, Mark Kistler's Kids Special. Thank you, guys. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the shadow on the ground. And oh, look at this timing. We're coming right up to, uh, we have about eight minutes left. This is our hour of pencil power. I'm going to overlap. I'm leaning this one out just a little bit. This is higher. See, this is lower. This is called placement. Someone type that word paint. What kind of pencil do I use is what Julie asked. I use a PS209. Okay, you can order this from Amazon. They'll leave it on your doorstep. You can get a box. I See, I buy them by the box. They're refillable, but I end up giving them away to a lot of the kids I see on the road. So um, uh, there's different schools. So I buy them by a box. Okay. I just love them. I've been using them for years. So... And also I buy them by the box because my kids, my 18-year-old and my 20-year-old love them. And they, uh, so my pencils disappear somehow. Hmm. 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 I wonder how my pencils disappear. Hmm. My pencils, do you guys, I know you kids never take your, your parents' paper or pencils or their, their change off of their, their desk, right? You never disrupt their their stuff, right? Never. No, I just borrowed it, Dad. And of course, then I, I find it in a drawer in the refrigerator. Thanks for putting my pencil in the drawer with the lettuce. That was nice. All right, now the sun's up here. Sun's coming from the right, so let's shade it the side. Shade the side. Shade the side. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Shade, shade, shade. All right, now, look at, wow. I'm kind of slowing, get slowing down in my chatter. I'm getting a little tired. I gotta, I gotta eat some lunch. I'm gonna have a salad with tomatoes and cucumbers. I'm gonna eat healthy, and I'm gonna go for an hour bike ride. I'm gonna stay active. I, I live out in the woods here, so I could take an hour of bike wide and wave to neighbors as I ride by from a distance, right? And uh, now back in the back, I'm going to put a horizon line, put that background. So I'm going to stay emotionally active with my art, creatively active every day, every day. And I'm going to ride my bike. I'm going to try to ride my bike today for an hour. I, I, let's see if I can make it. I was swimming for like half hour to an hour every day, but that's on postponed. That's postponed till the YMCA opens up again. So where I'm going to go for a bike ride. Are you proud of me? Like I can put a little hair, put some hair on these guys. Isn't that fun? Well, there you go. Isn't that, that's, there you go. There is our, I should say, there's our near hour. There's our 53 minutes and 28 seconds of uh, pencil power. You guys are fantastic. Check out my book. Uh, be sure to download those free printables from Draw 3D. Uh, watch Amazon Prime. Woo! Um, don't fret if you guys are summer art camp students signed up for that because uh, you're, we're going to go live with it also. And uh, if you want to email me here, and there's my uh, website, and follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and uh, Amazon Prime. All right, guys, you did great. Thanks a lot. I love you. Take care of each other. Be kind to neighbors and strangers and be more patient, patient, patient. We all deserve grace and humor and love right now. I love you guys. You take care, and I'll see you tomorrow at noon, okay? Let's do it. Bye, guys.